today, we'll walk through a full tutorial of everything you need to know about using Mingo Languages. If you've already created a profile, you can log in anytime at MangoLanguages.com. Up here in the top right where it says, Log In. Once you enter your username or email and password, click Log In. Here you'll see our learning portal with navigation tabs on the top and our language content below. In the top left, you can resume where you left off or start your review cards, which we'll talk about a little later. Below that, we have a language placement test, our main units of content, and an assessment exam. And for some languages, we even have specialty units where you can expand your vocabulary and conversations in themed courses. In the main section of the screen, we have our learning content broken up by chapters and lessons. Each of our lessons are in bite-sized chunks and take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to complete. After that, you'll see our listening and reading activities, a recap of all the phrases within the chapter, and then a quiz to test your knowledge. You can see each of our chapters are topic-based, covering a wide variety of conversations. Now I've studied a bit of French, but let's say I wanted to switch the language I'm learning. If you navigate up to the top left corner and click on the language icon, our language selection panel appears. Here, you can find your recent languages, our most popular languages, and all of the over 70 world languages Mango has to offer. Let's select Spanish, Latin American. So I'll click on it and then click resume. And here we see our learning portal for Spanish. Let's navigate to a lesson. On this screen, you'll see the conversational and grammar goals we'll cover in the chapter. These include what you'll be able to do in conversations, asking someone's name, introducing yourself, etc., and what you'll learn from a grammar standpoint. On the next screen, you'll hear a full conversation between native speakers. Don't worry if it sounds like a lot. We break things down part by part in the subsequent lessons. Hola, me llamo María. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Me llamo Tom. Es un gusto conocerla. Igualmente, Tom. Now on this screen, we have two options. We can either replay the entire conversation or we can listen to specific lines by clicking on them. Es un gusto conocerlo. Let's continue. We start with a single sentence, and every slide in Mango is full of interactive features. You can hover over the words in the language to see a phonetic pop-up, and click to hear the word pronounced at a slower, more articulated pace. Usted. Or click on the speaker icon to hear the entire sentence at a conversational pace. ¿Cómo se llama usted? You'll see another neat function, our literal and understood meanings. While right now, this sentence is what's understood, clicking here allows you to see how the sentence is literally translated. And now you'll see the magic of Mingo's use of color. It allows you to see which words match to where. We call this semantic color mapping. Next, we'll start to break down the sentence. And again, all our slides have the same interactive features. And now let's take a look at another feature, voice comparison. Voice comparison allows you to record your voice and match up the waveform to a native speaker. I'll click here and record my voice. Yelmarsi. You can click and drag to adjust your waveform, and you can click to hear the narrator's voice. Yelmarsi. Your voice. Yelmarsi. Or hear them both together. Yelmarsi. On this slide, you see one of Mingo's grammar notes that we sprinkle throughout lessons so you can learn, write, and context. Even these words are interactive, as here we learn a little bit about reflexive verbs. Next, we'll start to learn through repetition. You can click on the timer to pause or click show answer to reveal the answer. Yamarsi. Now we'll start to learn a little more and you can see the power of Mango semantic color mapping in action. Do you remember what this was? Usted se llama. Next, we'll learn how to say how. Como. And now we'll put everything all back together. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Even when things seem tricky, we help explain so you're never lost. Next, we have another type of note, a cultural note. 
These help to give a little context of culture around the world related to the language you're learning. Let's introduce one more thing. Te llamas. And now, all on your own, how would you ask, what is your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? Mingo helps to give you all the building blocks to build up a language and intuitively put it together. Up in the top right, you have your keyboard controls, help and support, and your settings. Or in the top left, you can exit at any time. Now we also have our listening and reading activities. Available in our more common languages, these provide you with a passage and multiple choice questions to test your knowledge and comprehension. These passages are completely different to maximize your learning. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see the area for daily review. These are vocabulary you've previously studied, brought up at key times by Mango's spaced repetition system, making sure you have things committed to memory. As you go through your review cards, you can click to see the answer and respond if you get the answers correct or not, allowing Mango to customize your learning experience around you. Some languages also have an Explore tab where you can view Mango movies in your language along with little PIM video lessons for younger learners. And tools allow you to find a translation function. In the top right corner, you'll find your profile settings, including where to create up to five family profiles and where to log out. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our support team at support.mangolanguages.com.